Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, this is the continuation of uh, my first video of Deep Beyond number one. So this is issue number two by Image Comics. So we continue from the, well, how it ended and, and let's let's move forward. So first, so they are, there's a monster attacking. The, the vehicle that they are trying to escape is broken. And Paul here is, you know, like I said in my last video, mumbling, bumbling, sweating, being a coward, doesn't move at all. And then uh, this woman, well, let's call her Jay because that's how she calls herself, uh, picks him up and drags him away. And, and look look at the, the body language. I mean, this is a woman, strong woman, and this is a man, you know being taken away like a small little child that is scared of the dark. It's pathetic. Uh, art looks great, though. It's by Mirka Andolfo. Uh, before I, get, I forget, Mirka Andolfo is, uh, is the one who made... Uh, uh, why am I forgetting? <laughs> My brain. Um, I've got to look it up right now. Jesus Christ. Mercy. Jesus. Okay. So uh, let's move on before I waste all, the, all of your time. So, and then out of nowhere, there's some laser shots destroying tentacles. And there's a, a group of people that is, you know, with her, with the same suits. And they drag Paul into the vehicle and they are going to escape while the monster is chasing her. And uh, what I'm a little bit disappointed is because it's, uh, the time is 2085. And they are still making ugly looking cars. I mean... Why not make something more, I don't know, sci-fi? I mean, why it looks it like it comes from now or mid-2000s? Okay, that's my gripe. And then Jay said uh, he's, he's sad that because he knew that uh, uh, his brother, who is her lover, by the way, uh, or mate or partner or whatever, is dead. Um, there are some, some mild jokes that I don't appreciate, but that's very mild. I'm not, I'm not ragging too much about that. And they're going to escape and they are, um, you know, going to a, some kind of a, a, a base uh, of operations. But before we uh, they get there, this woman is waking up in sweat and she is the lover of Pamela. Pamela is the, the girl that, uh, well, she is in danger in the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, she's being trapped. She's being infected by something because she was searching for an anomaly and the, these group of people that I showed before, they want to rescue not only Pamela, but also want to know more about the anomaly that's in the water because the water's polluted. And I think they want to, I think they want to, um, you know, cure, help, um, find a solution for the pollution and, and weirdness going around and the air is toxic, etc. You know the drill. And... Um, then she's being called by a mysterious guy on, on a hollow video. It doesn't reveal who it is, but basically she is, you know, giving a task. And this guy or girl or woman, uh, man or woman, says, well, well, since the anomaly arose, things went haywire. You know how the last expedition ended. And already you already lost your wife. I don't think you want to lose anything else. And then he disappears, and then she looks at the picture with the two of them. And, um, yeah, so there's some shenanigans going on that I don't know how that is going to go, because I don't have issue free. Um, then, okay, well, let's let's leave it at here. So everybody's going back, and there's some kind of a caretaker here, and it's called Omir. Omir is, uh, is you know, I don't know, so like I said, a caretaker of these guys. So he's, he's cooking, he's a chef. Um and he probably runs the place too because this dock is some kind of, um, how do you say, government facility. And they now operating it for a, a great part. But they need Paul to open a certain door. And um, moving on a little bit. Uh, so skipping it. And then we do a little bit, you know, emotional stuff that is, you know, a continuation of the, you know, his brother is dying. It was her lover, and they are basically comforting each other. Um, it doesn't seem, it feels to me, well, she looks here sad, but it doesn't feel to me that she is very, how do you say, upset. 
that he is dead. I mean, although she is seeing how it happens. But when I go through the book, this book, I don't see anything that she is crying or uh, feeling sad. She's feeling more sorry for him. But she says, I'm sorry, Lucas, etc. I mean, he has more trouble with his death than she is, which is a little bit weird for me. So that is a little bit of a disconnection. But maybe they aren't involved deeply. Could be. Not sure. Just guessing. But uh, yeah, stuff is happening. So what's going to happen next? They are prepping uh, the next day and they're going into uh, to the next mission and um, they need to open the door and they need Paul for that. So Paul steps in this con uh, well, construction and then basically grant them that access to this door. So the door is opening. There's a submarine there. They are want to um, you know, go into the submarine and try to go down into uh, where... Uh, what's her name? Let me check before I'm forgetting again. <laughs> uh, Pamela, that's that's the word. So, so, uh, but this is oh, I forget to, maybe to mention that the girl that you saw earlier, this red-headed girl, is the twin sister of Pamela, and basically she's saying exactly what I'm feeling. She says, "Thanks, Paul. Good work. We don't need you anymore. Bye." <laughs> and she says, "Come again." And um, and she said, well, you need to go back. We don't need you. There are scary monsters here. And your ass isn't moving until the whole cruise is back. And he says, uh, 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 uh. And then she says, am I dreaming right now? King Chicken Shit found a spliff of courage and wants to come with. And uh, you're suddenly looking to be my sister's Prince Charming. And then he said, uh, 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 uh. he's, you know, rambling again and he's sweating. I mean, I can't stand soy boys, man. I mean, just grow a fucking spine. I don't know how you, you are getting involved with Pamela in the first place because this guy and Pamela were lovers before she turned lesbian or maybe she's bi and, you know, hooking up with the, with the girl that, uh, you know, was lying in bed earlier. I don't know. But uh, I don't know how you get her, man. But I, I can tell you for sure that women do not like weak, insecure men. There are women they like, you know, nice guys. Uh, how do you say? They're in touch with their feelings, you know, uh, considerate, um, something like that. But most women do not like bumbling, weak, crying fools like him at all. None. None. Speak from experience, by the way. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was a long time ago. And um, so, and then suddenly the um, the alarm goes off for whatever reason, and the the facility. Uh, well, this this woman, who is probably head of the facility, said, "Hey, we uh, we know who you are. We're gonna shut the thing down. You're not gonna get out alive." Well, this guy says that, and they want to blow the things up for whatever reason, and she says, "No, no, no. We need them alive." And but uh, some, it's too late. Things are exploding, and then. Um, as uh, this 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 black dude, um, Emir, Amir, um, Omir, is uh, trapped under the rubble. He said, "Listen, you need to go. Leave me behind." And then, well, they they are going to do that. And the last scene didn't want to show you, but hey, here it is. He's dying. They escaping and uh, going into the water. And that's basically the end of the book. Um, this is a nice one. Uh, it has the same problems that I had with the last book. Uh, weak man, crying, bumbling. But overall, there is uh, some action here. There's some nice connections uh, between people. There's some emotional stuff, you know, about, you know, losing a brother. Um, I like that. Also, I want to know who, uh, who the CEO woman is, what her purpose is, and who is controlling her. So, yeah, very interesting. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to follow the series, going to probably do a couple of reviews about it when the next issues is coming out. I like it. I hope you like it too. Let me know what you think about what I said in the comments below. And, uh, you know, as always, check my video, love my video. With love, I mean like my video, share my video, subscribe to my video, or subscribe to my channel. That's probably the best word. And uh, hit the bell for notifications for uh, so that you get notified when I do uh, uh, another review. And then you're going to be the first to know it and see it. 
So uh, yeah, hope you have a great day. See you next time, guys. Till later.